Susan, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so excited to talk to you. Uh, you're the activities coordinator at the Barnstable Adult Community Center. And we're going to do a little update on uh, what you've been doing. We're going to start with what you've been doing since March when COVID kind of happened and how you kind of had to readjust. So let's talk a little bit about how activities have been going <laughs> since okay. March. <laughs> well, a little slow since March, but we're getting back on track. We really got uh, started uh, full force pretty much in June because we were all adapting to what we were should be doing, what we could be doing. We weren't 100 percent sure. So it's uh, kind of sad, but kind of great to say we can do everything online now. And what an opportunity for people. Uh, you know, even here in the wintertime and during normal times, now we know we can host, still host programs when we're open full force and people can stay at home and be safe during the winter or any type of weather incident and still enjoy a program. So we've all gotten used to pretty much Zoom. I know there's other, um, other uh, platforms out there that people can use, but Zoom has been it and people are are enjoying it and they're participating. So some of the programs we've actually had more people participating online than we ever had come into the center. So, you know, it's promising. I think people are adjusting. That's really so. awesome that you've had so many people, so many more people participating via Zoom. It shows yeah. that, you know, people want to participate. Yes. And, and um, you know, and it's kind of nice to be able to do things like that from home. I know that a lot of people are itching to get back into the center yeah and participate that way, yes. but it's wonderful that you're having these opportunities. So let's talk about some of the programs that you've been able to do. I know there's so many programs that you usually are having at the Barnesville Adult Community Center. Yes. So let's talk about uh, some of the ones that you're able to provide via Zoom. Okay, so we've, uh, we're working with programs with AAA about your car and lots of different programs. They're gonna talk about you know, these uh, new no driver cars. And so it's not just about how to repair your car or how to change a tire, although we're going to talk about that. And then there's going to be an open discussion where you can ask any question you want about your car. So uh, people from AAA are mm -hmm. doing these virtual programs, which is great. We have, we have our health talk programs coming on board. We have some of our death and dying programs. We have some legal uh, through South Coast legal uh, programs coming. So a lot of the same programs we did, um, but we can actually expand them now and do more because so many other organizations are doing things virtually, which really is an opportunity for the center to expand, you know, educational, you know, fun, uh, awareness, you know, all types of different programs. So it's, uh, it's great. And we're, we're kind of easing back into exercise. That seems to be the one that's uh, a little more challenging, but I, I, I think people are, you know, it's a, it's a great way to get back to your group and see them and be social. And we're easing into that. And we have, you know, our Drums Alive programs coming on board, our yoga. We have Pete Cormier has been doing meditation programs all along, which was so beneficial during this time and still is. And uh, we have a few, um, <clears throat> let's see, we have some genealogy program coming up and We've had Larry Dapsis, who is always a lot of fun. He just, he's, I love when he talks about his bugs and his <laughs> flowers and everything that he does and, you know, keeps us up to date on what's going on with Lyme's disease and, you know, the other creatures that have kind of invaded Cape Cod <laughs> because of our, because of climate change. And so it's really, he's doing some interesting <clears throat> programs. So, you know, we're trying to, balance it out to what people are interested in. And if anybody out there is interested in a program they'd like me to try to organize, please let, you know, please get in touch. Um, we'll give you my email address at the end of the interview, but it's, you know, we're open to all kinds of ideas. We're hoping over the holidays to do some more musical entertainment programs. Um, we'll see what's, what happens with that. That might be a little bit of a challenge, but we have a woman named Kathy Hatch that teaches ukulele here and she is so much fun so we're hoping to get Kathy on board for her one of her holiday fantastic programs <laughs> so it's been you know we're busy we're still here and um, we want everybody to know we're still here and hopefully reach out and we get a lot of these programs out there uh, just recently in the newsletter but of course e-news has helped out tremendously as well as Facebook so 
you know, like us on Facebook and you'll see what's going on here at the center. That's, that's great. I think, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people don't give seniors or our older residents, you know, you know, a lot of, um, you know, props for getting yeah. on the internet and yeah. using social media and using Zoom. But another piece of that that we want people to know is that we're going to try to record some of these um, talks and events. And after the, the lecture or the event happens via Zoom, we're hoping to then share those videos on channel 18. So even if you're qu not quite comfortable getting onto Zoom, mm -hmm. calling into Zoom, because I know it can be a little tricky. Yeah. Maybe you don't have the technology. We are going to be able to show some of these programs on Channel 18. So we're going to try to right. really use Channel 18 as a tool mm -hmm. to help get some of these programs out to those seniors. We have, we're going to have dedicated times during the day that people can watch uh, mm -hmm. Barthville Council on Aging um, and Barthville Adult Community Center programming on Channel 18. We're going to have on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 8 a.m., in the eight to nine o'clock hour, we're gonna show programming. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays in the 5 p.m. hour, we're gonna show um, Council on Aging programming. And on, you know, I think on the weekends, on Saturdays and Sundays, same at the 8 a.m. hour, we're gonna to try to, so that people know when they can tune in mm -hmm. and it, see these wonderful programs that you're providing. Yeah. And, and talk about being out, uh, you're, you were a great help with me. We're, going to kind of take a tour around Barnesville and take people into some of our local treasures, which are some of our little local town museums. Uh, they are fabulous and historical societies. So we'll do a little walkthrough and we'll ask the director questions and we'll give people an opportunity to ask questions. And I know you said we can record those. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So coming up will be the Barnesville Historical Society and the Centerville, Centerville Museum, which will be a lot of fun. Both of yes. Them. And anyone that's interested in these programs, you know, the I know that the new Thrive Magazine um, newsletter that you put out is going to be coming out soon. And that's where people can find a lot of this information, correct? Yes. Yes. And not only about activities, but all the other services we've offered all along. I know some of them are virtual, but some are, you know, regarding outreach and, you know, fuel assistance and shine programs. So everything is still happening here that's happened all along. It just not, you know, you just can't come in here to, to do most of it. So we encourage you to take a look at that newsletter and find out what you need to find out about because so much information is in there that's so valuable. Read, you know, and of course all the activities. So it's a, it's, it's, you can call and we can mail it to you directly and uh, you can go online to the town of Barnstable site and then you can contact us directly to see if there's any program specifically that you had been interested in the path that will be happening. So we encourage you to do that as well. So there's many, many opportunities to reach out to the Barnstable Adult Community Center. Wonderful. Um, I know if people want to sign up for to get Thrive um, and they're not already getting it, the best way I would say is to call call directly into the senior center, correct? Yes, that would be the 508-862-4750. And you can call that regarding any question and uh, we'll direct you as to who you need to speak to. Mm -hmm. So, and so that's certainly easy enough for us to do. Uh, if you want to get our e-news, and which we send out once a week, sometimes depending on a program, we'll send it out twice a week, but it's a great reminder after the newsletter has gone out of what's coming up, say the following week or two. So we, you can call us again at that number 508-862-4750 and just leave us your email and we'll get it on to our e-news list. And Wonderful. you'll start to receive that as well. Mm. That's great. And if anybody wanted to contact you, um, I know we're going to give you your email address, which is susan.griffin at town.barnstable.ma.us. But let's yeah. also give, um, do you want to give your phone number if people sure. wanted to reach out to you directly? Yep. Yep. It's, uh, email is always the best way, uh, but my phone number for the office is 508-862-4761. So either way, leave a message there. Um, it's, that's the office phone number, but I can link into that work, you know, working at home. So we're still all working at home, or most of us anyway. So uh, try the email and the phone, which would be great. And we'll get in touch with you.
Wonderful, Susan. Is there anything that we didn't talk about today that you wanted to mention? So uh, looking forward going into the winter, we know uh, that we're going to have a lot of these programs. And if there's anyone out there that is interested but cannot figure it out, I can help you through that. Um, or if you're having difficulty getting onto a program, say we've sent you the Zoom link and for some reason you can't connect, what I'm trying to do is get on about 10 minutes before so that I can help walk you through if there's any difficulty. So you can send me an email as you're trying to get through and I will reply to you immediately. And I, you can leave your phone number and I can call you and help walk, you know, walk you through it. Because we want you to get on these programs and you know, still feel like you're part of the center and you know, meet some of your friends that you might see online at some of these programs and you know, hopefully you know, keep us all connected in one way or another. I was, I was going to say, you know, it's, you know, you sign on for one of these programs and, you know, you, you'll hopefully be lucky enough to see some of your friends from the center there and maybe you can, you know, get a little bit of a catch up and, you know, chit yes. chat with some of your friends that maybe you haven't seen in some time. And I think that's a, a wonderful way to kind of keep everybody connected. It is. It absolutely is. Wonderful. Susan, thank you so much for talking with me today. I really thank appreciate you. it. And I look forward to seeing more of the programming that we're going to have from the Barnesville Adult Community Center on Channel 18. Great. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. You too. Bye-bye.